Hi, my name is Shalann Hill, and we're going to do meditation today. We'll see what comes through the pipes. And so if you can sit, uh, you can sit on blankets, like I'm sitting on yoga blankets or Mexican blankets, I'll fold it up. So you can do that, or you can sit in the chair, you can sit up against the wall. You can always put blocks under your knees here for a little bit of support if you want to sit cross-legged but have a lot of clenching in the crease of the hip and you can always choose to lay down if you'd rather do that as well okay so um let's make sure your spine is long wherever you land and we'll let the hands rest on your legs if you're sitting and just let your if you're laying down, just let your arms be long to the floor, whatever angle feels good. And it might feel good to close your eyes. It might feel good to just look down to the floor in front of you without bowing your head. Let's take a few deep breaths, just kind of satisfying breaths, like, oh, I made it here. I made it. I made it to this one spot on the planet right here for some me time, for some inward time, time of reflection, of being present. Now, if possible, you'll allow your breath to soften and slow. And think of allowing a smooth breath through the nose if possible. Breathing comfortably, but a little bit slower and a little bit longer, a little bit smoother. Spine floats up softly toward the sky. Everything outside of the spine is falling toward the earth. So shoulders drop, elbows drop, legs drop, hands drop. We're laying down, everything just softens. And if you'll unclench your jaw and your eyes and your scalp, let your ears fall toward the earth. Finding more softness in the shoulders and the heart space in the center of the chest. Find more softness in the belly. I'm sitting spine still floats up. Allow the glutes and the legs to get softer and heavier. And allow gratitude. So thankful to be here in this body with this breath, enjoying this moment. Even if there's noises on the outside, on, you start to turn your attention inward. Starting to listen to the breath 
maybe with your ears at first. But then start to tune in with your all your senses. How the breath feels in the body. Where the breath moves in the body. Checking in how you're feeling emotionally right now. And there's no right or wrong answer here. It's just being a kind witness to what is. Feel numb. Are you grieving? Are you sad? Are you angry? Are you irritated? Freedom, lightness of being, joy or excitement. There's no right or wrong, it's just what is. Make peace with what is. Okay with what is. The more we accept what is, the more we can pass through it. If we don't like what is, we can make it stuck there. Greater acceptance, we feel a softening inside the body. And she made peace with things. We need a little space around. As attached to the more softness around the hands. Not needing to hold on to this. Not needing to resist, brace ourselves against the hands. Just allowing with us. Turn your attention to your heart space, in the center of your chest. Listen to your heart for a moment. Maybe you might start out with your heart beat. Then start to listen a little deeper to maybe the whispers of your heart, or the song of your heart. Observing what's there in the heart space. Again, making peace with what is. Use your imagination to see or sense 
the very center, deepest, most wisest part of it. The deepest, wisest, oldest part of the heart. The very center of your chest. The most central point of your whole being. Imagine the most amazing diamond sparkles and shimmers and so bright with light. Priceless gem. Measurable that this has been here all the time. You've been on the planet, this gem within you to shine so brightly, no matter what you've done, no matter what you've not done. And there's no way that this gem within the center of your heart would be dimmed or damaged or devalued. Its value never wavers. Consider the possibility which resides within you. What if you started to wipe away the wounds or tore down the walls and it? With the beliefs and thought differently, and this consideration that this peaceful and light within you will never be damaged or damaged, be valued. Would you let that belief or that idea start to grow and strengthen and fight you? Would you allow that crystal and light to grow or start to rise closer to the surface? most valuable part of your being. Letting yourself see it and hear it and feel it and you know it. It's part of me. So Unshakably strong. It's so clear. No confusion. Powers. Or crystal light. It emanates your essence.
this beautiful unique signature of our essence. So I need I need it in this world. Consider valuing it as much as spirit does. Humans have not valued this part of you. We just forgot. We just forgot themselves. You can remember. The truth about your own. And able to remember theirs too. Remember your strength, your value, your beauty. Remember your sovereignty. The divine essence that emanates through you. Beautiful beings of light. You are. And thank you for sharing your life. World, even just your presence on the planet is enough. Thank you, bless you, love you. Thank you, bless you, love you. To share those sentiments with your own self. Thank you. Bless you. Love you. To this body. Thank you. Bless you. Love you. To this heart. Thank you. Bless you. So let your own rise to the surface and start to take some deep breaths. Wiggle fingers and toes. And gather your palms to your heart, palms together at your heart. Thank you, bless you, love you. Almost dead.